Hey everyone, JT here, back with another video. Today, I wanna to talk about the long-term savings of solar. So over the last few days, I've been crunching lots of numbers, and I'm not gonna bore you with in-depth spreadsheets and lots of uh, how I came about these numbers, but I do wanna show you a trend. So for those that don't know, we've had solar on our house for the best part of 15 years now. Um, for the first sort of 13 years of that, we had a standard two kilowatt system. That system had a, uh, a pretty basic inverter that didn't really give us any data. Then in 2022, we upgraded that to a solar edge inverter. We started to get some, some data from it. In 2023, we upgraded the size of the system. Um, we actually went up to about a six kilowatt system. We added some battery storage. And then this year in 2024, we upgraded the system even further. We went to a 9.6 kilowatt system and we've added a, another set of batteries to it. So over the last sort of three years, we've been adding incremental investment. And for my own sort of personal feeling, I wanted to know, are we actually saving money? So let's take a look at the charts and let's see exactly what they show. So this first chart you're looking at here, it's a pretty simple chart. Um, it's got two bars. One is the blue bar, which is what we spent on electricity. And then the second bar, the green bar, is what we've saved. Now, everybody has their own way of calculating savings. Um, I have a really in-depth spreadsheet. Every single month I take what is the standard rate for electricity from my provider, and I do some calculations based on how much energy I've generated, how much energy I've exported, um, and that brings me to a savings number. But if you look at this chart, it has two simple trends. That as we've been upgrading the size of our system, the electricity costs have been going down. Now, the sharp eye of you will notice between 2021 and 2022, the, the amount of electricity we used went up drastically. Now, the actual amount we used didn't change hardly at all. But that was the year that we saw the massive spike in electricity prices um, roughly equating to when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. So that's why you see a jump up from 2021 in the blue bar to 2022 in the blue bar. But as you can see from 2022 onwards, we've seen a gradual decline in what we're spending on our energy bills. The real trend is in the other direction. So that's the green bar. The green bar is how much money we're saving each year. Now for 2024, we're not even at the end of the year yet. We still have October, November and December. Uh, to, to go there but we're already over sort of three we're probably going to reach somewhere around about four thousand pounds in savings this year now if you equate that to return on investment what that effectively means is everything we've spent since the original 2021 upgrades um, will pay itself off in about eight years now as i've said in previous videos i don't really focus on roi it's not something that, uh, that really interests me that much. I'm more interested in having the smallest possible electricity bills. But if that is something you're looking at, you can see there, as we've made each of these incremental upgrades to our system and the capacity of our system, our savings are growing and our electricity costs are going down. Now, we've just started to export power. Um, that's something that we'll be doing throughout the next year. So I'm fully expecting the amount we pay for our electricity to disappear to almost zero during the summer months. If you're interested in this kind of things that I'm calculating here, there's a, a small table at the top here where we calculate you know, how much we use during the day, how much we use during the night, what our standing charges are. As you can see there, our standing charges are going up massively. And this is because this is something we have no control over. The distributed network operator imposes these charges on our energy providers and they keep putting them up with no reason at all. No, there's, there's, there's no explanation, it's just, Every time they get an opportunity, they increase that price. So our standing charges have gone up from approximately £37 a year to over £120 a year in four years. That's an absolute disgrace. Under that, you can see we've got um, uh, total costs, how much free power we're getting. So uh, living in the east of England, we get a, a lot of opportunity with our provider Octopus to have some free power, maybe for two to three hours a day. And we take full advantage of that. Underneath that is our generation, uh, our export, and then our savings calculation. So what's your takeaway from all of this? Size your system for the maximum you can afford. It, 
I'm not suggesting that anybody should go and take out a loan to install solar, but do the numbers, figure it out for yourself, and whatever you can afford, put up the maximum number of panels and the maximum amount of battery storage you can, because you'll see a trend very similar to this, where your costs will go down and your savings will go up. I hope this has been useful. Like I say, I didn't want to bore everybody with lots of spreadsheets, but I hope this has been useful. If it has been, and I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.